Burn versus Death Sky. Alright, going back to a very straightforward, no nonsense in your face deck here. Um, I tried a few decks, but I have had a bad day today. So I'm sick of it all, and I'm just going to bump in the night. Just gonna see if I can punish all these shenanigan decks. Reanimate. Okay, already some crazy stuff could potentially already happen here. Animate that next turn, but let's get him some damage while we can. That is going to cost the opponent quite some life. Okay. Yeah. I can't. Alright, let's just throw this at the opponent's face then. I don't have the opportunity to do anything else. So much three mana for one. Uh, searing blood is just searing blood helpful. I have an idol on. Is that even? Yeah, the idol on is good. A Tomod's crypt. And one unholy heat. Or. The, the crypt can replace the baubles, actually. And then... The heat can replace one. No, the discharges should come in... Okay, I'm gonna go down one I long. No nonsense, burn your face. Let's see if we can burn this elephant. Down to the ground. deck that you have to be prepared for. Why 
Why didn't I put it in there? Okay. already forced the opponents to uh, discard quite a few cards if they decide to block. I don't think the opponent... that's already a difficult choice. Two more. Now I have a now I have a problem, and this that's the thing about the frog. It, it is, and I'm only on one land here, so now I'm the one with the issue. The baleful Strix, the new edition. Yeah, this one is... This one's gone. I'm still at 18. Yep. And just a frog discarding four cards. Three cards is enough. Discard even more cards, so so I can throw. Six of damage, the opponents discard two to stay in it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, these Eidolons are even now just hurting me more than the opponent, so... Yeah, those two frog heads were too much. Oh, wait a minute, one... Oh, that's already there. Ah, I see. I had to. I had to do it after the second one. Okay. I would have had to done the. the uh, okay. Uh, I mean, Eidolon should be good for me, but. Okay, I'm gonna put two Eidolons out and two unholy heats, and go from there. Frog. Damn frog. Well, that happens if you don't have fatal push on the bike, so. Okay. Oh, well. Burn 
deck with no turn one play. the opponent gets together. They're all too still make a difference. Definitely the chat alright. Enchantment and instant sorcery for the unholy demons. I'm going to use the Torbots. I could use it to prevent treasure crews, you know. Eidolon definitely hurts.
reanimating that. Is that gonna? F I'm okay with that. Okay, so I just need a screw the critics to the face. And my Dragon Brain Chandler is gonna fly. Bump in the night is fine for me. Oh, it's actually 4-4. Four, four. Wow. Why does these magic, why does playing Magic the Gathering have to be so nerve-wrenching sometimes, like it's so close. I mean, I'm at 18, okay, but I mean, I know that a, a control deck, things can go up. You know, once the, the opponent has gained control of the match, it seems, you know, it's, it's difficult to come back. And I was on one land for the first few turns, so as always, sticking through. And not giving up, despite those baleful strixes all over the place. Um, yeah, able to win here <coughs> with the good old burn, Ractos burn. Let's continue onwards. Game number two. Ractos burn versus Nico Sferatu. No Sferatu, Nico Sferatu. Alright, this looks good. This looks pretty good. Gargoyles actually it shakes the booty. And just go for a dragon rage. Just dragon's rage channeler. Channeler. Okay, what am I up against? That's, that was pretty good. A swift spear is something I would love to draw next turn. Next turn. But what am I doing this turn? Then I'm keeping up the bowmasters. All right, let's do it like that. Should I do the discharge instead? It's not going to increase the Dragon Lace Channeler, too, so it's. So 
So for now, let's just deal the one damage. And next turn, I can swiftly into bump into skewer, which should be a good turn. So next turn is gonna be a <clears throat> more potent turn. Hopefully, we'll see what the opponent does here. Low on that. So that field of run can actually do some damage. I only have one more fetchable left. Wow, I, oh my god, I should have played the Bowmasters. for this at all. Okay, but now is my turn. So if the opponent now uses their field of ruin, it's gonna cost them their whole turn. And I still have, like this is the only black card left. So I'm okay with that. Sure, go ahead. Discharge is also sorcery, damn it. And artifact sorcery, that's all I got. But maybe I can find something with the surveil trigger. Yeah, this deck only has four fetchable lands something to consider. just saw Brainstorm and Field of Ruin. So I'm just gonna go with the pre-board. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay, the den is actually untapped. So let's start with the den. Or the void foretells to start getting things out of the deck. Otherwise, this is going to be a dead card, so let's do that.
archive trap. Yep, okay. Okay. Alright. Let's go, Chatterler. Oh my god. Uh, why did that work? Okay. <coughs> Sorry for that, guys. It's late again here. Playing a little too fast. Gotta take that breather. doesn't change too much in the end I mean yes I, I, could, I could have surveilled something away which I don't want to draw potentially but we'll see Well, then it's also good that I don't have it anymore. So let's bump and play the Bowmasters end of turn. I'll, t I'll keep that. Okay, the Leyland is actually making my life really difficult here. Happy I was able to kill the crab after. Archive trap. Okay. Twenty-three cards left. It's gonna be close. I'm not really dealing much damage here yet. First, obviously, but I'm at 17 life, it's fine. Let's attack. And at least the surveil triggers of the Dragon Rage Channeler are. S yeah, that's fine. I'll take that. Okay, next turn can I win? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. Okay, I'm at 14 cards. I'm to win here. I mean, I'm stuck at two lands. It's a little unfortunate for the opponent. I'm not sure which card can actually draw to get out of this. Let's attack. Alright, Okay! Victory number two. Burn. I feel like it's actually a very high um, tiered deck. 
in the format at the moment. Because everybody's doing all these crazy stuff, but this deck, it just... Every card is just trying to do 3 damage, basically. Like, every card, if it's able to do 3 damage to the opponent's face, job done. The Bowmasters can do that. You know, one ping and, and an attack is 3. The Chandler, either by a few hits as a 1-1, one, one, or one hit as a 3-3. Three, three. The Eidolon can deal between, usually does two at least. So let's say every card deals between two and three damage. That's that's what you want to do. With fetch lands around, and people, ha opponents have to start thinking like, do I want to shock when fetching, or do I want to put it tapped? So, yeah, punishing the fetchy, fetch land, fetch shock mana base here, I would say. Um, anyway, let's play another one. And see how that goes. Rectos Burn versus Chiltigan. 0400190. This is like borderline not keepable, but I will keep it. Faces All right, what do I do? Turn two. I have to play a creature this turn to get the counter. Let's just hope that he died a lot. Show and tell, la, I might already be dead. Da. Getting in some bowmasters there was pretty sweet. Uh, this can fetch one more swamp. These two fetch lands are actually dead cards in my hand, which is unfortunate. To say the least. Masters are going to face. Is this domain? I mean, it looks very much like some four or five color mid thing. Another ring. for me. Stifle or something. 
Masters have done so much damage in this game. But that Uro is gonna come back with a vengeance. I can't trigger any prowess. These are dead. So let's attack. I'm definitely not out of the woods here at all. Okay. I'm at nine. This can get back my Kumas. Oh wow. A lot of damage done by the Eidolon in on itself. And the Bowmasters. So the Eidolon and the Bowmasters have brought me this far. Not like I'm out of the woods yet, anyway. Alright. Thank you, Bowmasters. This was all on the Bowmasters. Do I want the Eidolons? I think I do. <coughs> do I want the Unholy? I'm gonna take out one Eidolon, though, and bring in one Unholy Heat. For the Uro. And one skewer out for a rolling vortex. Oh no, a Thomas Crypt. Should have put out two bubbles and brought in two two Thomas scripts. Why am I so good at realizing my mistakes immediately after I'm doing them? Nah, I'm just kidding. You guys always point out some other stuff too. <coughs> Which I didn't realize at all. Okay. <clears throat> but this looks like a decent hand. I can... Uh, yeah. I can use it to trigger the skewer. Wow, all 
these swords to plowshares? Oh, if that was a bowmaster, they found one. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be close. The opponent is starting to stabilize a little bit. They will probably have found some lands with this brainstorm. And Uro could come down here now. So the opponent kept the hand of full of swords. I'm going to throw the bolt at the opponent's face. Why? Because if I don't draw land, I'm I might want to be nourishing. Okay, this doesn't look too good for the opponent. I would say. Now I'm, I'm regretting that choice, honestly. Um, but let's attack. So the opponent has a window here. Land in the battlefield tapped or put it in your hand. One out of four. Opponent's doing this in their turn. So there's already just theoretically already not many outs the opponent can have. Considering that this is their turn, they can drop one more land, so they would have potentially two mana. Even if they had the swords, it could get rid of this, and then they would have to rely on this thing not becoming a... Uh, having delirium, or me... No, this, this requires five lands, basically. So f this and four others. So this is not really a threat yet. I think we got it. So burn, kicking it really hot. <laughs> yep, burn. Ragnos burn is definitely a viable option in the current meta. And it's been all it's been around in timeless since the beginning. Like some things deck like decks like Yogmoth have come and now nobody I don't see many Yogmoth skid decks um, being played at the moment. Things like like natural order is not being played as much. Um So some decks, you know, come and go, but like things like Jund Show and tell, Rakdos burn have been there all the all around, and I think that the energy deck is going to be there, stake around as well. All right, let's attack first. All right, G to the G. All right, three games, three victories. Um, yeah. I think whatever needed to be said has already been said. Um, yeah, trying to fit in, play like a mix of timeless and standard at the moment. That's what I'm kind of aiming for. Um, a little bit more variety in the videos as well as just for me personally. Um, it is fun to, to play some standard as well, but timeless is definitely always um, my my favorite format and uh, yeah so I'm gonna be playing a mix of the two and uh, yeah as usual thanks for watching see you in the arena have fun and peace I'm tired I gotta go to sleep